Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. Hey, 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 hey. Enough of that already. Hey there. Hey, look, uh, you ever wonder, uh, you know, when you were working like in the jails and stuff, I don't think you were really exposed to criminals who were uh, scheduled to be executed, but mm -hmm. have you ever had like somebody have a last meal? Uh, I was thinking about that this boy, week. That would be interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. today on the show, we've got a list of what some of the most famous killers who were executed Ooh. had as their last meal. And that, my friend, is next. Hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie here. Nice to be with you again, Ronnie. Hey, um, we did a little research about killers and their last meals. Ooh. And we're going to jump right to it here. Uh, probably one of the most recently renowned killers, Timothy McVeigh. Oh, yeah. What did he have? Timothy McVeigh, who was executed by lethal injection in 2001. Man, that's 18 years ago. I know. That I know. 2001, possible. that was 9 11. Yeah, that does not seem possible. Was responsible for the 1995 Oklahoma City bombings. The bombings claimed the lives of 100 and 68 people and injured countless more. His request for his final meal was two pints of Ben and Jerry's mint chip ice cream, mm -hmm. which he consumed all on the night before his death. Wow. Seems like he probably could have died of brain freeze had they not. <laughs> Had they not executed him. <laughs> you know, Ronnie, 450 episodes of this stupid show, and you still make me laugh hard, buddy. Uh, hey, this next one, Ted Bundy. Oh, of course. This yeah, guy was, yeah, yeah. Who notorious oh, serial killer. Oh, my God, killer. that looks so good. I'm starving right now. Executed in 1989, he had confessed to the murder of at least 30 women. Yeah. People think maybe twice that many. Uh, not only did he decline a special order for his last meal, Ted Bundy even refused to eat the prison's offering of steak, <laughs> eggs, hash browns, Ooh. and coffee. Mm. He instead went to the electric chair with an empty stomach. What's the uh, point of that, Ron? You know, you, you also could have just eaten the raw eggs, and they would have been fried. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> so maybe and uh, maybe a chicken would have been born and it would have sped up the birthing process. <laughs> he died with a chicken in his tummy. All right, uh, and on our list of what did some of the most famous killers have as their last meal? Check it out, Saddam Hussein. Ooh, ooh, that looks disgusting American to me. American enemy, a brutal dictator in Iraq. Saddam Hussein was an enemy to the United States, and his arrest was the focus of many U.S.-led missions. He was finally discovered, as you'll remember, hiding in a hole, which seems so apropos. They called it the spider hole. Yeah, that's right. Yes. I do. I remember that. Yeah. During the 2003 Operation Red Dawn. Although this claim is unconfirmed, it is said that his last meal request was for boiled chicken and rice with several cups of hot water with honey, and that was honored. It is rumored that that was his favorite meal. Hmm. Of all the things you could have, chicken. Boring. Boiled Seriously. chicken. Boiled chicken. Boring. You know why I don't like chicken? Because it tastes like chicken. <laughs> you know how they say everything tastes like chicken? But it, it looks like pork. Looks a little bit oh, like Oh, you pork. can't get that by me. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> hey, this next guy, and this may not be a super familiar name to some people. Mm -hmm. A generation ago it was. But it's Richard, uh, I'm sorry, Bruno Richard Hopman. And he was responsible. He kidnapped the uh, Charles Lindbergh baby. Oh, and oh I do held remember him for that. And ransom. Name. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually he ended up killing the baby. Man. So while, an, again, it says, may not ring any bells, his crime certainly will. He was convicted and sentenced to, the, uh, to death for the murder of Charles Lindbergh's baby. He died on the electric chair in 1936 and maintained his innocence until the final days. His last meal, uh, chicken, buttered peas, french fries, olives, celery, cherries, and a slice of cake. Hmm. Was he trying to eat healthy Dang. chicken? 
It's your last freaking meal, yeah. dude. Dude, my God. I will right, we'll get okay. One, I will give you one more. Now, look, we're not making light of this. Well, maybe we are a little. Uh, but, but this is just some in interesting research that we found. And finally, John Wayne Gacy. Wow. He was an infamous serial killer known as the Killer Clown. And man, that made clowns scary for me. Yeah. He, it is uh, claimed that he murdered at least 33 boys. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994. His order for a last meal consisted of I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> it's hard to imagine. A bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken original recipe. I would have gone for the extra crispy. Me too. <laughs> God, splurge. Well, you know, he didn't want to put on any pounds. That's true. He's yeah. watching his weight. Yeah. You know, you got to watch your weight. French time. fries. Well, he make up for it there. Yep. And a pound of strawberries. Wow. Well, you got to get your intake of fruit. Well, I will tell you that strawberries you never, ever see in a custody setting. They never serve strawberries in jails or prisons. Because? They just don't. I, I think and most of the time, everything we have to serve is in a deep freeze for a long, long time because they buy it in such bulk quantities. Um, I don't know. You just never see strawberries in, in custody. It just seems like such a fun place, jail. Oh, it's, it's great. You can have a good time there. You never get over the smell. You know, when you first walk in, mm -hmm. it slaps you in the face just a little bit mm -hmm. and says, I'm here. It's the smell of sweat and dirty socks and people that haven't changed their drawers in about a week. They wash them in their toilet. You know, they have one of those scented uh, candles. That <laughs> That's that. That yeah. yeah covers those same I, I, scents. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the jail the Yankee scent. candle. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Okay, all right. If you had a last meal, oh okay, what right. would it be? Oh, I haven't thought about this. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Last meal, I'm going to want to have about six whole Alaskan crab king crab legs. Oh boy, I love that. About six of those whole crabs, and you know what? My goal will be to eat enough crab that I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, it'll take so long to crack it all. Right. That you're buying some time. Yeah, they might fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you are. You're getting and, yourself a And maybe time. the governor could call. You, just, you never know. You don't yeah. know. That's could be just 2, it. 3 o'clock in the morning because right. of the time difference. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and then think about it. If I have all that crab inside of me, right? after I'm executed, uh, with the electric chair, maybe that'll help to melt butter. Couldn't hurt. Hot crab. Couldn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yep. What about you, Ronnie? I want to know what your last meal would be. So, two things that I love. Lobster. I almost went there. Oh, man, I, I love know, lobster. Too. I just love lobster. There is the Some people can't get past the consistency of it. The texture. Yeah, the texture. I love it. The Me flavor too. Me too. with some butter oh, on it. Holy oh, dear. my God. Yeah. That and then pizza. In the same setting? Yes. Crab and pizza. Because pizza to me, I think I've said this before. Yeah, I could I have just eaten a full meal. Right. And if I see a pizza, somebody brings out a pizza. Yeah. I'm going to have a couple You've got to have it, Ronnie. Yeah. You've got to have that pizza. I'm eat. So my, my last meal would be lobster. And then all of a sudden they'd go, hey, this pizza just showed up. I'm like, yes, please. Bring it. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not done with the 12 lobster tails I have here, <laughs> but I'm going to want that pizza. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Let's throw this out to you. Yeah. All right. Let's forego the criminal formalities. You don't have the, to go to prison. No, you don't have to do that. And, and you don't have to be executed. But no. uh, uh, hypothetically speaking, if it were your last meal, what would you want to have? And we want to see this in the comments because... When you comment on our show, we reply. Absolutely. And and, I, and I'll say this again. Uh, sometimes, you know, we're, we're really busy, but we read it, and we don't have time to reply, so we'll like it. And, you know, that might not be the end. I may be able to come back to it in a half an hour or two hours or so yep. when I have a little more time. 
most importantly, I can't tell you how important those those comments are to Ronnie and I. Yeah. We really do enjoy it. And I have to say, of all of the audience that YouTube has, our show has the, some of the, the most creative people. That's very clever. <laughs> very, very clever. And we love that. Yeah. You know, we love that about you. So feel free at any time to comment. Uh, I will mention that you've seen our email go across the screen several times. And uh, if for whatever reason you don't want to comment uh, publicly, you can always drop us an email. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and, and that's really cool because then we have time to think about it and then reply so that you get a really good answer from us. And um, we have a lot of people that send us solves. There's one right there on my phone. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have a lot of people that send us their solve. Look, if you care to do that, um, if you tell us that you don't want us to comment on it on a live, uh, we won't. No. Uh, but here's the thing. If you're going to send us a solve, you better have a good wear warm waters halt. Right. Right off the bat. Well, and also you need, for every clue, you need a, sol a, a response. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can't like skip three or four of them and go, I'm, these are really meaningless, but I'm going from, you know, from one all the way to six. Right, right, right. Okay. Two, two to five don't matter to me. So there you go. But the, the point is you can email us with your questions or comments. Uh, I highly suggest you don't suggest a topic that we do on our show. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll consider it. If it's like super, super creative, eh, it could happen, but we're we're kind of our own guys. Yeah, that's the way we operate. Okay, so that's going to do what I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.